Okay, this is a demonstration of Remote Potato for the iPhone, which gives you access to all your home media on your iPhone, either around the house or away from home over the internet. When you launch the app, you've got instant access to your video files, your home music library, your photo library, and if you want it, there's also integration with Windows 7 Media Center, which we'll look at later. You can look at any of the video files on your computer, or if you're a Windows Media Center user, any of your recorded TV files. Most video formats are supported, so you can just uh, tap on Video Library, browse through the various folders on your computer back at home. These are just some music videos that I've got back at home. When you've found a video that you like, you can just tap on it to read a little bit more about it. Let's do that now. Uh, you might want to delete it. What you're probably going to want to do is watch it. Uh, you can choose from a variety of qualities, depending on your network speed. Let's just play that now. And that is now streaming from my home PC to this iPhone. Uh, let's just turn it landscape. Watch it the proper way around. Uh, it's high quality, fully seekable streaming. So uh, just swipe your finger along the top if you want to skip a commercial break or go to a different part in the recording. And what is really neat is there's full airplay support as well. So if you've got an Apple TV, like I have, and that is now playing on the television in the room which is a great way of taking your media around your house, watching it in different rooms. Uh, you can even use an Apple TV as a Windows 7 Media Center extender. Let's just turn that off. Let's have a look at the music library support as well. So uh, you can browse through all your artists, uh, all your albums. You can pretty much get to any of your songs any way you like. Tap on an album to see the songs and uh, then you can just tap again to stream the album. You've got all your standard Controls, fast forward, rewind, all the controls you'd expect really. And uh, if you're going to be somewhere without internet access, you can download any of these songs for offline access. Let's have a look at the picture library as well. You can browse your home photo library. None of this is stored on the iPhone. All of this coming from the home PC. Have a look through the different folders. If you want to uh, tap on one, let's just tap on that. There you go. Full thumbnails, all coming from your home computer. If you've left a photo at home and you want to show it to somebody, just tap like that. And you can swipe through your photos just as if they were stored on the iPhone. Double tap to zoom in. You can download a photo to the iPhone's own photo library. Or if you tap that button there, you can then email that photo to a friend. And those are the main features of Remote Potato for iPhone. If you're a Windows 7 Media Center user, let's just have a little look at the support for that as well. Uh, you can browse the TV guide. Uh, again, in portrait or landscape, just scroll through that. You can uh, see what's recording. Or you can tap a program to read more about it. Uh, you can schedule recordings, let's just record the series there. Full control over series recording options. Uh, you've got full control over pretty much all of your Windows 7 Media Center as well. So that's a quick tour around Remote Potato for iPhone and iPod Touch, uh, which you can get along with the iPad app as well from the App Store. Or for more information, see remotepotato.com.